Relief is also being felt tonight for many local struggling business owners following Governor Baker's reopening announcement. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in the newsroom tonight. And Christina, you spoke with the owners of a West Springfield eatery. One of the owners of the Starton Tavern told me not only is this the next step in the reopening plan going to help business, it also means that the potential return of the Big E Fair, which is huge for them. The COVID-19 pandemic decimated the hospitality industry. That ripple effect being felt in Western Massachusetts too. It was the hardest year of my career and I've been in the restaurant business for 45 years. Vincent Calvanese is a co-owner of the Storaton Tavern and Carriage House in West Springfield. He said that it's been the support of their customers that's keeping them going. It makes you feel good because they've they've helped us even when it was just takeout. I mean, everyone has supported us and uh, we really appreciate it. We probably would have been one of those places that closed. And now Calvinese and other business owners will have less restrictions to adhere to as the state continues to reopen. As of May 10th, singing will be allowed to resume at restaurants as well as performance venues and other businesses. May 29th, gathering limits can increase to 200 people indoors and 250 people outdoors. Bars, beer gardens, breweries, and wineries must follow restaurant rules with seated service, including a 90-minute limit and no dance floors. Depending on public health data, requiring the purchase of food with alcohol would be eliminated, and tables would be able to increase to 10 people. And again, the goal is that by August 1st, all business restrictions will be completely lifted and operating at 100% capacity. Working for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.